Finally tonight, Queen Elizabeth is being remembered for her stoic and steadfast leadership style in an ever-changing world. And while she's known for displaying her sense of duty, Her Majesty's sense of humor wasn't far behind. Here's CBS's Elizabeth Palmer. She was at once the UK's majestic sovereign. My lord's privy seated. And its accessible monarch. On the job, meeting and greeting her people with the perfect blend of reserve and warmth. And it was that indomitability, that humour, that work ethic and that sense of history which together made her Elizabeth the Great. Take her insistence on cutting the cake at a G7 summit with a sword. There is a knife into my I knew there is. <laughs> she downright enjoyed the absurdity. Queen Elizabeth never gave an interview, but she showed what she was made of. Heart stoic dignity on display in 2012 as cold rain drenched her diamond jubilee celebrations. But equally playful as she was in this video made for her platinum jubilee with the beloved Paddington Bear. Perhaps you would like a marmalade sandwich. I always eat one for emergencies. So do I. I keep mine in here. She also knew how to leaven formality with a joke, as when Justin Trudeau announced that he was the 12th Canadian Prime Minister of her reign. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister of Canada, for making me feel so old. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Bond. And no one in the UK will forget her star turn in the London 2012 Olympic Games video, when she teamed up with James Bond and apparently jumped out of a helicopter into the Olympic Stadium. At a concert in Toronto the night she died, Sir Elton John said it all. She led the country through some of our greatest and darkest moments with grace, decency and a genuine caring warmth. But I'm glad she's at peace. I'm glad she's at rest. And she deserves it. She's worked bloody hard. A multifaceted monarch, Queen Elizabeth achieved the near impossible for such a public figure. In all those decades on the throne, she rarely ever put a foot wrong. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Edinburgh.